Hello Pokemon Trainers! Welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video here on iStarly TV. The Indigo Disc DLC is live now, so there's a lot of new Pokemon being added, um, a ton of returning Pokemon, a lot of really awesome new mechanics, a lot of fun stuff. I'm really, really excited. So today I'm going to show you how to evolve Diplin in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Diplin has a new evolution. Yes, that's Diplin, the, the Pokemon that evolved from Applin. So Applin's just going crazy with all these evolutions, which is cool because I love this evolutionary line. This is like one of my favorite evolutionary evolutionary lines ever. So I'm this video contains spoilers. If you have not seen or heard of the name of the evolution for Diplin, I am going to be spoiling it very soon. So please keep that in mind if you want to kind of be surprised, uh, you know, I think you encounter this in the main story though, like eventually you will battle someone who has this and they, and and I mean, it's very obviously a form of Applin, right? Because you can tell, but anyways, so spoiler alert in three, two, one, this is how you evolve your Diplin into Hydrapple. Now I have a shiny Hydrapple because again, this is one of my favorite evolutionary lines. And before the Teal Mask DLC came out, I shiny hunted an Applin in Paldea because I, I wanted Diplin and I was happy to find that it's going to get yet another evolution. Now it has like seven heads, but I think that's only when it attacks. Right now it's, you know, just going to be attacking this kid and this, oh look, it already got this Pikachu. Oh no, it killed the Pikachu. Anyways, <laughs> um, so how to get Diplin and evolve it into Flap, or I'm sorry, Hydrapple. Um, I actually have another Diplin, however, I don't have the materials because you need to teach Diplin a move called Draco Cheer, I think it's called, or Dragon Cheer and then level it up. So it doesn't matter what level Diplin is at. So you could have a level one Hydrapple, I think, because you get your Applin, you give it this super sweet apple from from Kitakami, which evolves it, and then you can give it, well, I, sorry, level two Hydrapple, not level one, because then you need to teach it the move Draco Cheer and then evolve it. Um, so I have, so you get this TM, it is a TM exclusive move, you get this TM, by beating one of the Elite Four members. Um, and so I'll just tell you right now, it's the Dragon one. I mean, it's it'll probably be obvious if you're like, oh, I have to beat one of the team, the Elite Four members, and I can see what their typings are. And Hydrapple's, you know, obviously an Applin evolution, so it's probably a dragon, right? So it's probably the guy who has dragon Pokemon. So if you beat the dragon guy, he will give you this TM. And then once you have the TM, you can use it to or, or I'm sorry, you can make it more times. However, I haven't yet encountered one of the Pokemon that you need in order to make this TM. So I haven't been able to make it again. So I have footage here that I'll be showing you of me evolving my shiny Diplin into shiny Hydrapple. Um, of course, if you have your regular Diplin, it'll look a little different. Um, although I like both color variations. I just, I mean, obviously this one's shiny, so it's cooler. Um, but I like the red one as well. So this is Dragon Cheer. Um, it raises the allies' morale with a Draconic Cry so that their future attacks have a heightened chance of landing critical hits. This rouses Dragon types more. I don't know what that second part means, and honestly, I don't think I care. <laughs> but either way, you teach Diplin Dragon Cheer and then you level it up at least once and it will evolve into Hydrapple. So that is how you get Hydrapple in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite. I had a team planned out like some of these Pokemon and a couple others. Um, and then as soon as I got Hydrapple, I was like, no, I, I want to use this. This thing is so cool. And like I said, someone in the main story does also use this Pokemon. So yeah, it's pretty special. So that's how you get Hydrapple in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Um, again, you get the TM. That's the that's the only way to get the TM is by beating the dragon guy. And you'll be able to see where he is on the map. I mean, I'll just tell you right now. I think he's, he's over here in the Polar Plaza. Um, but I already beat him, so that's why he's not showing there. So beat him. He will give you the... I mean, he's kind of like a gym leader. You have to be a little trial of his first, and then you have to battle him and beat him. And his Pokemon are in the 80s, so, you know, be prepared for that. But once you do defeat him, he gives you the TM, you teach it to your Diplin, and if you ever want to teach it to other Pokemon, you know, like I said, you can you can craft this TM once you have all the materials from the wild Pokemon. So I hope this video helped. Please leave a like and subscribe if it did, and leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet videos. And let me know what you think of Hydrapple, uh, which, is, which is the better version, the regular color red or the caramel golden. I, I like this because it looks like gold, but I guess it also looks like 
other stuff. It also looks like honey, I guess. So there's a lot of things, but Hydrapple's really, really cool. Too bad we can't see it in, in here, like showing off all the different heads that it has, because it does also have like, actually, maybe I can show on the Pokedex. Yeah, right there. Look at that. That's really cool. It has seven heads, I believe. But anyways, hope you have a great day. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe. Please comment for more. And I will see you next time.